with the gladsome mind. Bless the Lord, for he is kind, for his mercy shall endure, ever faithful, ever sure. He with all commanding might made the new. Yes, Father God, ever faithful, ever sure. Your mercy shall endure. Your mercy is everlasting. Our Father and our God, we praise you this morning, Lord. We praise you. We adore you, Father God, forever and ever. We praise you for your wisdom. We praise you for your power. Lord, we thank you, Father, because you are the unchangeable God. You are the immortal, invisible. Your faithfulness and your so all generation. Thank you, mighty Father. Thank you for another morning, Lord God Mighty. Another day, Lord, that you have allowed us to see. We give you praise. We thank you for our family. Thank you for our children. Thank you, Father Lord, for every member of our household. Thank you, Father Lord, for the gift of life. Hallelujah be to your name, O Lord. We thank you for your grace which has stepped us fully from every form of bondage. We thank you for your living presence which heal all our blindness. Thank you, mighty Father, for you have called us out to be a peculiar people unto you. Thank you, Father, for listening to our cry. Oh, Lord, every morning we cry out to you. And you listen. Thank you, mighty Father. Lord, our God, we thank you. Just as your voice say, your word says that the voice of the Lord is over the waters. The God of glory thunders, the Lord thunders over the mighty waters. You are the God of glory. Father, Lord, you have revealed your glory in the Lord Jesus Christ. He is the radiance of your glory and the exact representation of your nature. And because of Jesus, we are able to come into your presence. 
with unveiled fields and behold the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah to your name, Lord. We praise you. We adore you. Father, Lord, we thank you. For you transform us into your image from one degree to, of glory to another. We thank you. Your glory is so magnificent that heaven need no sun or moon to shine on it. For you, the God of glory, give it light. And the lamp is the lamp of God. Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. God of glory, we know you are a jealous God who will not share your glory with others. Forgive us. Forgive us this morning for turning our eyes to humanity, thinking that this person or that person deliver us from a particular trial. Rather, it was you who used them to bring about intended deliverance. Forgive us for our short sightedness, O Lord, in not always seeing your glory through your creation, your works, your words and your spirit, forgive us. God of glory, forgive us. You are light, and in you is no darkness at all. Thank you for your permeating glory and for sustaining this world and everything in it. Without your glory, sin would overtake and destroy all life and hope. Thank you, Lord, that in Jesus Christ, your glory became flesh and dwell among us giving us an opportunity to see the glory of the only Son from the Father, full of grace and truth. Thank you, Lord. God of glory, your voice is over the waters, and your glory thunders throughout the land. Whom shall we fear but you? We ask you, Lord, this morning to intervene on our behalf, when enemies seek to bring us down, your glory is strong. Your glory is mighty like thunder and lightning. You see all our enemies and we protect us from them. Keep us from getting in the way of your glory by being prideful. Lord, we pray this morning. Help us, Lord, to trust in you, not in our own strength. Keep us, Father, from trusting in our own strength or seeking revenge. As you delivered Joseph from the pit, not only once, but twice, deliver us. Deliver us, O Lord, by your power, God of glory. Deliver us from the ill will of those who oppose us and stand against your truth. Deliver us, Lord. This morning we have come. Let your glory manifest in our life. Let your glory manifest in our family. Let your glory shine forth, O Lord, King of glory. This morning, show forth your glory, Lord. Show forth your glory in our family. Pray this morning, pray for yourself that King of glory have come to you, Lord, this morning. Let your glory manifest in my life. Let my life show forth your glory, Lord, this morning. You are the King of glory. The King of glory, your voice turned out over many waters. Tell the Lord this morning, over the waters that is trying to drown you, Ask the Lord that, Lord, let your voice thunder over this water this morning. You are the King of glory. And your word says the voice of the Lord thunder over many waters. Let your voice thunder over the waters that is trying to drown my children, Lord. You remember in Revelation, the word of God says the dragon, when he pursued the woman, and he said he couldn't get it. He, he, he pour water. He pour water so the water, the water will dry the woman. But the earth helped the woman, and the help opened up his mouth and and dry up the water. Ask the Lord this morning 
We're talking about the voice of the Lord to thunder upon the waters that is trying to drown you, drown your children. This morning, as the Lord, my Father, my God, I come before you this morning because your voice is powerful. Your voice is mighty. Let your voice, O oh Lord, thunder over this water in my life, whether the water is sickness this morning. If you read your Bible very well, water sometimes is not just ordinary water. It's affliction. It's trouble. It's trials. This morning, whatever be the water in your life, ask the Lord that Father God, may let your mighty voice turn down upon this, upon this water. Water of sickness. Water of joblessness. Water of, of delay, marital delay, marital chaos this morning, Father. This is the water that is trying to drown me. Lord, let your voice thunder over it, Lord. Let this water, this water, hear your voice this morning, Father God. In the life of my children, the water that is causing depression, the water that is causing frustration. Oh, Lord, our Father, let your voice thunder upon that water this morning in the mighty name of jesus let them hear your voice this morning lord let that sickness hear your voice this morning lord let that delay hear your voice this morning lord let that stagnation hear your voice this morning lord let that backwardness hear your voice this morning lord let that Disappointment, hear your voice this morning. Every spirit of frustration, hear the voice of the Lord this morning. Every spirit of disappointment, hear your voice this morning. Every spirit of delay, whether marital delay, career delay, this morning, hear the voice of the Lord this morning. Because the voice of the Lord is powerful. The voice of the Lord is mighty. It's lightning this morning. Father God, we thank you. Lord our God, we thank you. Thank you for this morning. Wonderful morning. Let us ask the Lord that Father, this is another morning. Command the morning and cause the day spring to know his place. Hallelujah. Oh Lord, my Father, command the morning and cause the day spring to know his place. Let wickedness be shaken out of my life, O oh Lord, my God. This morning, let wickedness be shaken out of the life of my children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray for that child this morning. That Father, I lift up this my child before you, Lord. She's not with me, but I know, Lord, that you are with him. You are with her. And I ask you, Lord. Because of your faithfulness that endures forever. Let wickedness be shaken out of his life. Let wickedness be shaken out of our life, O oh Lord, our oh God. This morning, in the life of my loved ones, let wickedness be shaken out in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray this morning that, Father, let the morning and the day spring arise in my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, let the morning and the day spring arise in my life. Arise in my life. Arise in the life of my children. This morning, Father God, let the morning and the day spring arise, oh Lord. Arise, oh Lord. Let the enemy be scattered today in the name of Jesus Christ. When the children of Israel, when they were in the wilderness and they want to rise, they move on on their journey, they will say, Arise, oh Lord. Let the enemy be scattered. Yes, Father Lord, we're in the wilderness of life. And this is another morning. We want Want to go about our journey, Lord, this morning. Arise, O oh Lord, let the enemy be scattered, Lord. Let your enemy be scattered, Father Lord, this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father Lord, arise. Let the morning and the day spring arise in our life, in the life of our loved ones. In the name of Jesus, 
Heavenly Father, we lift our voice unto you this morning. We are asking, let the dew of the morning be upon our life. Let the dew of the morning be upon the life of our children, upon the life of our grandchildren. Every member of our household, Lord, we are standing in the gap for them because we know that you love them, O oh Lord. So, Father, let the dew of the morning be upon their life. In the name of Jesus Christ, as the Lord, let the blessing of the morning arise in my life. Because you will see daily you loaded us with benefits, with blessing. Father God, this is another day. Let the blessing of the morning arise in my life, arise in the life of my loved ones, my children, my grandchildren, my in-laws this morning. Everyone, oh Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let the blessing of the morning arise in our life, in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we ask this morning, this day, Father, let the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. Healing, healing. And let every area of our life be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord our God. You know, Lord, the area where we need your healing this morning, whether it's physical, spiritual, emotional, Lord our God, you are our healer. You are the Jehovah Rapha. Lord, the Son of Righteousness, arise this morning with healing in his ways. And let every area of our life be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord our God, you are the Son of and the Shield. For our life, we told no good things from us, O oh Lord, this morning. We told no good things from our children, Father God. We know, Lord, that we know we told any good things from us. So, Father, we ask you, with this new morning, let new mercy, new favor be upon our life. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh Lord, our Father, this morning we're asking you, our Lord, let new, new mercy and new favor be upon our life. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, our eternal rock of ages. Blessed be to your name, oh Lord, our God, because we know, Father, you will show forth your glory. Your glory, your glory, Lord. God of glory, you will show forth in our life today in the name of Jesus Christ. Your light will shine upon us today, Father, and every darkness will disappear in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be to your name. Hallelujah be to your name, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Before we continue our prayer again, we need to encourage ourselves about our correct self-appraisal. That is, understand your true value. Your true value. Not what you have in the bank account. Who you truly are. Understand your true value. Give yourself. Appraise yourself. And I read from Second Thessalonians. Just one verse there. Chapter 1, verse 5. Paul has been talking. And when it comes to verse 5, he said, All this is evidence that God's judgment is right. And as a result, you will be counted worthy of the kingdom of God for which you are suffering. Self-appraisal. We know Paul has been passing, you know, had been persecuting during his first visit to Thessalonica. And we know that those who have responded to his message also are facing persecution. 
both Jews and Gentiles. I want us to know that as we live for Christ, we will experience troubles because we are trying to be God's people in perverse world. Some people say that troubles are the result of sin or lack of faith. But Paul teaches that they may be part of God's plan for believers. Our problems can help us look upward and forward instead of inward. They can build strong character and they can provide us with opportunities to comfort others who are also struggling. Your troubles may be an indication that you are taking this time for Christ. When you do so, you are experiencing the privilege of showing that you are worthy of God's kingdom. You know, sometimes, I don't know about you, I do. Do you ever question if you are really worthwhile? That is, lovable, acceptable, or competent? Have you ever felt as if you don't measure up enough to be of any true value to others? These feelings of inadequacy are just that feeling. Feelings not facts, not facts, and they blind you and I to who you really are in Christ. This is why you should always base your opinions on what God's word says about you. Because that verse that we read said, God's judgment is right. And as a result, you will be counted worthy of the kingdom of God. God's judgment is right. Let that sink down into our hearts. That God's judgment is right. What God says about you is true. The Lord's judgment of who you are and what you are worth is more accurate than what you think of yourself. Because his view is eternal. He doesn't appraise you by investigating temporary issues such as who you know, where you live, your title, your income, or how you look. No, 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 no. God's judgment, God's evaluation is not based on that. Rather, it sees you through the blood of Jesus and desire for you to seek him all at a day. Do you know, when we appear before him, it doesn't matter whom you are. It doesn't matter what kind of car, what kind of house that you have, what kind of clothes that you put on. The only thing that matters most is the blood of Jesus Christ. Have you been to that cleansing blood? Are you washed in the blood of Jesus Christ? So my brothers and my sisters, take your focus off of what you think or what others think about you and embrace, let us embrace what the Father says. No doubt your self-esteem will automatically improve because God's opinion is the only one that really counts forever. So let us know who we are in Christ Jesus. Let us appraise ourselves based on what Christ has done for us. And you will see your self-esteem, apart from the inner strength that it will give you, even your outward look will show that, yes, you know who you are. Devil doesn't want us to know who we are in Christ Jesus. He doesn't want us to know. Instead, he wants us to know you are a sinner. You are this. You are not competent. You are not this. You are not this. 
even the speaking to us, but we are the ones that have to declare with our mouths what we are in Christ Jesus. The self appraiser, the, because God has given us in His Word, and we will declare that appraiser of ourselves. That what God has said is about us is correct because God's judgment is right. It's evidence. It's certain that what he said is right. So let us tell the Lord Jesus this morning that Lord Jesus, I thank you. In you and you alone, I am worthy. Hallelujah. Thank you for making me worthwhile. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus, thank you for making me worthwhile. Thank you for making my children worthwhile. Lord, I thank you, Lord, this morning. Because in you alone, I am worthy. I am not to something. I am not to somebody. You see, when you look at that child of yours, you will not see what others see. You will see what God sees in him, in her. You will appraise him based on that. This morning, let us enjoy ourselves, embrace ourselves in what we are in Christ Jesus. So declare with me this morning that I am called in Christ. Yes, Lord, according to your word in Romans 1, 6, I am called in Christ. My children are called in Christ Jesus. They are called in Christ Jesus. I have redemption in Christ Jesus. Father, Lord, thank you. Because I have redemption in Christ Jesus. I reign in life by Christ. Yes, I reign in life by Christ Jesus this morning. In Christ Jesus, I reign in life. I'm alive unto God through Christ. My children are alive unto God through Christ Jesus this morning. I have eternal life through Christ. Yes, Lord. I have eternal life through Christ Jesus. And I'm a joint here with Christ. I am a joint here with Christ. Oh, yes, Father, I am a joint here with Christ. I am sanctified in Christ Jesus this morning. I am sanctified in Christ Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father, for my body is a member of Christ. My body is a member of Christ. And I have victory through Christ Jesus. I have victory through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah to your name this morning, Lord. I triumph in Christ Yes, Father, I triumph because I have victory. I triumph in Christ Jesus. And you know, Satan, hear the word of the Lord this morning. I'm a new creation in Christ Jesus. I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. I am the righteousness of God. My children are the righteousness of God in Christ. And I have liberty. I have liberty, freedom in Christ Jesus this morning. I have liberty in Christ Jesus. I am crucified with Christ. Hallelujah. I am crucified with Christ Jesus this morning. And I've put on Christ. I've put on Christ. Oh, yes. Let us declare you this morning. I have been blessed with spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I have been blessed with spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. I have been blessed. My children are blessed with spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ Jesus Christ. I have been chosen in Christ before the foundation of the world that I should be holy and without blame before him. Hallelujah. I have been chosen in Christ before the foundation of the world that I should be holy and without blame before him in the name of Jesus Christ. Declare, we are declaring this morning that who we are, we are given ourselves, that self, the correct self appraiser this morning. That Christ in me is the hope of glory. Christ in me is the hope of glory. Hallelujah. I am complete, complete, 
complete in him. I am complete in Christ Jesus. I am complete in Christ Jesus. And my life is hidden with Christ in God. Hallelujah. My life is hidden with Christ in God in the name of Jesus. Christ is my life. Christ is my life in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, because I'm preserved in Christ Jesus. I am preserved in Christ Jesus, and I have boldness and access in Christ Jesus. Glory be to your name. I have boldness and access in Christ Jesus. That is why I can come into the throne room this morning. I have boldness and access in Christ Jesus. And you know what? Not only that, let us tell him this morning. We are seated. Declare this morning. I am sitting in heavenly places in Christ. Far above all principalities, power, might, and dominion. This morning, I am sitting in heavenly places in Christ. Far above all principality, all power, might, and dominion. And I take my position. In the heavens and bind the principality and powers that operate against my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us begin this morning. Pray in the name of Jesus. I take my position in the heavens and I bind the principalities and powers that operate against my life, against my children's life. I bind you. I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bind the principalities and powers that operate against my life, against my children's life, against my loved one's life this morning. I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I break and I rebook every program in the heavens that will operate against me through the sun, through the moon, through the stars and the constellations. In the name of Jesus, let us begin this morning because we know whom we are in Christ Jesus. This morning, we are seated with him in the heavenly places this morning, far above all principalities, power, might, and dominion. And I break, I rebook every program program in the heavens that will operate against us this morning through the sun, through the moon, through the stars and the constellations in the name of Jesus Christ. We break it, we rebook it this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. For we are seated with the Lord Jesus Christ this morning. We take our position this morning and I bind and I rebook any ungodly forces operating against me this morning. I bind and I rebook it in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind and I rebook all moon deities and demons operating through the moon in the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, as a child of God this morning, as the Lord, as we once seated with the Lord Jesus Christ this morning, as a joint here with Christ this, this morning, I bind and I rebook all moon deities and demons operating through the sun, through the moon this morning. I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind all sun deities and demons operating through the sun in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, I bind you in the name of Jesus. I bind the deities and demons operating through the stars and the planets in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because I am sitting in heavenly places in Christ, far above all principalities, all powers, all might and dominion this morning, according to Ephesians 1, 3. And I take my position in the heavens this morning. I declare, the sun shall not smite me by day nor the moon by night. The sun shall not smite me, nor my family by day, nor the moon by night in the name of Jesus Christ. For the heavens were created to be a blessing to my life. The heavens were created to be a blessing to my children's life in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Father, we ask this for it. Let the heavens open. Over our life, O oh Lord, let the heavens open over our children's life, O oh Lord, our God, this morning, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Let us pray this morning that Father, bow the heavens and come down. Come down, oh Lord. Come down, come down, Lord, this morning. Come down and show forth your glory in the name of Jesus. In my life, oh Father, come down and show forth your glory in the life of my children. Come down, oh Lord, and show forth your glory, Lord Jesus Come down, show forth your glory in this family, Lord God Almighty, in this business, in this career, Father Lord. Come down and show forth your glory, Lord God Almighty. Bow the heavens and come down, O Lord. Let the heavens be opened over my life and let me see visions. In the name of Jesus, pray this morning that mighty Father God, let the heavens be opened over my life. Let the heavens be opened over my children's life, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, shake the heavens, Lord, and fill my house with your glory. Oh, mighty Father God, shake the heavens and fill my house with your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father God, shake the heavens. Because in Haggai chapter 2, verse 6, you said, This is what the Lord Almighty says. In a little while, I will once more shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. Lord our God, this day we are asking you, shake the heavens and fill my house with your glory. In the name of Jesus. Thunder in the heavens against the enemy, O oh Lord our God. Thunder in the heavens against the enemy, the enemy of our breakthrough, the enemy of our joy, the enemy of our advancement, the enemy of our peace. Father, Lord, thunder in the heavens against the enemy, the enemy that is going about like a roaring lion seeking who to devour. Lord our God, thunder against the enemy of our soul. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, let the heavens drop the at the presence of God this morning. Let the heaven drop at the presence of God. Let the heaven praise the wonders, O Lord. You are the God of wonders. Father, Lord, this morning, let the heaven praise the wonders in the mighty name of Jesus. God of glory, show your wonders in the heavens. Oh, Lord, our Father, show your wonders in the heaven. Ride upon the heavens and release your voice, O oh Lord. This voice keep coming up. Lord, our God, this morning, ride upon the heavens and release your voice, O oh Lord. Release your voice upon every situation that is troubling us, O oh Lord. Because to him who ride across the highest heaven, the ancient heavens who thunder with mighty voice. Yes, Lord, your voice is mighty. Lord our God, ride upon the heavens and release your voice, O Lord. Release your voice upon every situation that is facing us, facing our children. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord our Father, this morning, release your manifold wisdom to the powers in the in the heavens in the name of jesus christ release your manifold wisdom to the powers in the heavens in the mighty name of jesus thank you everlasting father thank you our lord and our god let us pray this morning that lord break off of my life break off of my children's life any limitations and restrictions place on my life Please, oh my children's life, by any evil spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty Father, God of glory, this morning, break off of my life, break off of my children's life, any limitation and restriction, please, on my life, by any evil spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever be the restriction, whatever be the limitation, Father, Lord, this morning, we're asking you, by the power, in the blood of Jesus, and in the name of Jesus, Jesus, break it off. Break it off. Every limitation, every restriction that has been put upon our life, upon our children's life. They say that this is how far you will go. This is the, what you can have. This is what you can achieve. But that is their own plan. But Father God, this morning, let your plan come to forth in our life, in the life of our children. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, bind it this morning. Every python and consistent spirit this morning. In the name of Jesus, I bind and cast out all python and constrictor spirit this morning. It's in the name of Jesus Christ that they want to suffocate you. That problem that is suffocating this morning, that is squeezing you, twisting you this morning, bind it. In the name of Jesus Christ, this problem is started like a little. It did pain just a little, but this morning is unbearable. It's want to suffocate life out of you this morning. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind and I cast out all python and consistent spirit this morning in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray this morning. Father, Lord God Almighty, I receive deliverance and enlargement for my life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I receive deliverance and enlargement for my life this morning. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord our Father, let your kingdom and government increase in my life. Lord our Father, this morning, let your kingdom and government increase in the life of my loved ones this morning, in the life of my children. Lord our Father, we pray thee this morning, Lord, let your kingdom increase. Let your kingdom and government increase in our life in the name of Jesus and ask the Lord this morning that my father let me increase in the knowledge of God in the name of Jesus oh Lord my father let me increase in the knowledge of God in the name of Jesus Christ enlarge my steps Lord enlarge my children's step father god so that they can receive your wealth and your prosperity in the mighty name of jesus christ oh father enlarge our steps this day lord so that we can receive your wealth and prosperity in the name of jesus christ let us pray that my father Bless me indeed and enlarge my coast so that, O oh Lord, not only will I be blessed indeed, I will be a blessing to others. Lord our Father, bless me indeed and enlarge my coast. And not only that, that I will be a blessing to others, O oh Lord. Let your hand be with me and keep me from evil. In the name of Jesus Christ, Almighty Father, this day, Lord, I pray, bless me indeed and enlarge my coast. Let your hand be with me. Let your hand be with my children and keep us from evil. Keep us from evil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, you are our Lord and our God. This morning, Father God, we pray, let your blessing be upon our life. You have promised to enlarge our borders, Lord. So, Father God, this morning we ask that you enlarge our hearts so we can run the way of your commandments, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, we pray this morning, let us increase in wisdom and stature. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let us increase in strength and confound the adversaries. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reach us, Father. Let your grace and favor increase in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are asking you, Lord our God, this morning. Let us grow in grace and in the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father God, let us grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we know. According to your promise, we will flourish like a palm tree and grow like a cedar in Lebanon in the name of Jesus Christ. For the breaker is gone before us and broken through every limitation and barrier of the enemy. Blessed be to your name, O Lord our God. The breaker is gone be up before us today and broken through every limitation and barrier of the enemy. And for this, O Lord, we are grateful, Lord, this morning. We thank you, mighty Father God. You are the God of the breakthrough. You have broken forth against our enemies. And Father, we thank you this morning. We bless your holy name this morning, Lord. Because in your strength, O oh Lord, our branches run over every wall erected by the enemy. Because you have gone before us this morning. You have made every crooked way straight before us this morning. Oh yes, Father, there will be stream in the desert for us today in the name of Jesus Christ. We can run through a troop and leap over a wall in the name of Jesus Christ. 
our line go through all the earth and our world to the end of the world. Yes, Father. We are joined here with Jesus Christ. We are joined here with Jesus Christ. Give us the hidden for our inheritance and the uttermost part of the earth for our possession in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, let us go forth in your strength this morning, Father, that we be in the right place at the right time in the name of Jesus Christ, that our children will be in the right place at the right time in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we lift before you this morning anyone that is invalid among us, oh, Father. We ask, oh, Lord, that the name of Jesus Christ we speak for them this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are the God of mercy, Father God. We are asking you this morning, by your mercy, Father Lord, let your mercy speak for us this morning. Let your mercy speak, oh, Lord, that anyone that is in invalid that is sick among us this morning we receive healing oh lord because you are the god that heals us you are jehovah rapha lord wherever they are whether they are at home whether they are in the hospital lord our father jehovah rapha touch them this morning and everyone that is attending to them let your grace be upon them in the name of jesus christ our father and our god this morning, Father, Lord, as our children go to the school, Father, whether in the elementary, in the daycare, in the high school, in the colleges, Lord God Almighty, all the campuses, Father, we bring them before you, Lord. We are asking you, Father, let your glory show forth in these campuses, so Lord, where our children will be today in the school campuses, Father. Lord, our God, we are asking that you will make your presence know that no evil will be for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, our Father, that no evil will befall any of our schools this morning in our city, in our nation. We bring them before you, Lord, this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you for the screwdriver this morning. We ask you your grace upon them, mighty Father, that they will drive safely today as they Bring our children to and fro, Lord. We ask you for the teachers, Father, your grace upon them, mighty God, that as they teach our children this day, Lord, Father, the grace upon them to teach well, Lord, to teach the right thing you will give it to them, that they will have understanding. And we pray for all these students, oh Lord, our Father, that, oh Lord, that there will be no disruption in classes in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, our Father, we pray that your peace, oh Lord, we reign and rule in each classroom today in this city, in this nation in the mighty name of Jesus, wherever our children will be today, Father. You are the water of peace, O Lord. Let your peace be with them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, we commit those in authority. We commit those in authority over you, in this land to you. Lord, our Father, we commit the judges. We commit the, those there, our policemen. Lord, our Father, we commit them into your hebo hand this morning. We are asking you Father God that oh Lord let them recognize that it is you that have enabled them to be in that position Father and let them be accountable to you Lord. Give them your fear Father. Let them have your fear in their hearts oh Lord. That as the judges judge this day Father they will judge righteously Lord God Almighty. Enable them oh Lord to declare righteous this morning. Righteous judgment in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, Father God, for those that have cases, so oh Lord, this morning, and they will appear before the judges, we pray that, Father, you will show them favor in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, our Father, we remember, Lord, those who are among us, oh, Father, that they're looking for you, favor, Lord, that they need their papers, oh, Lord, to have a legal standing in this nation. Father, Lord, we pray that, oh, Lord, you will look up unto them, you will show them the way, you will grant them favor favor in the name of jesus some of them have their cases so oh lord to be looked upon father lord we pray that whoever is having their fire we have to show them favor in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you mighty father for this day oh lord our god we thank you lord our god we bless your name father lord for those marriages that are in chaos 
very gracious father you are the one that can bring it to to, to perfect peace lord our god this morning speak peace speak peace to marriages oh lord that are in trouble that are trouble us oh lord this morning lord our god let your peace reign in the homes let your peace reign in the homes oh lord our god in the name of jesus we know it's the enemy that has come to destroy it's the enemy that has come to steal father lord our god any door that has been open for the enemy to come into the house lord our god i pray by your power that you will shut the door in the name of jesus christ that your peace will reign in the name of jesus father lord we want to commit to your hand our children oh lord that have got married recently lord our god we are asking you that you will bless them that oh father god you will open their womb oh lord that they will be mother of children in the name of jesus christ and for those that are pregnant father lord we pray that oh lord they will keep their children safely to the day on their due day oh father then they will be able to deliver like the hebrew children oh lord our father let your hand be upon them and father we remember this morning those that are seeking for the fruit of the womb lord our god you are the one that can open their womb. So, Father, hear their cry this morning as we join them, O oh Lord, our Father, that you'll be merciful unto them, that whatever be the cause, Father, that you will forgive, O oh Lord, and that you will open their womb in the name of Jesus Christ, that you will bless them, make them, O oh Lord, mothers of children in the name of Jesus Christ. O oh, gracious Father, we thank you this morning. Lord, our God, some are saying, <laughs> You're talking of marriage. They, they, where is the wife? Where is the husband? Mighty Father, you are the perfect matchmaker. Yes, Lord Almighty. You are the one that said when you created Adam, you said it's not good for the man to live alone. And you, by your own self, you took the Eve to meet Adam. So, Father, our Lord and our God, our Eve, Lord, our daughters, and the Adam, our boys, oh Lord, our men, oh Father, that are single there is not good for them to live alone so father god our lord and our god just as you did oh lord our god we are asking you father that you yourself, you will and pick the right spouse for our children in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, our Father, you and pick for them, oh Lord. Give them the rightful partner that will fulfill your purpose, your and they will fulfill their destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every implication, every complication of the enemy to confuse them. Father Lord, we stand against it this morning in the mighty name of Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, Father Lord, this morning, we adore you. We bless your name because you are our sufficiency. Lord, our God, you supply our need according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So, Father Lord, this morning, some of us will go to our place of work to work. Father Lord, help us to be diligent in all that we do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever be the scheme of the enemy this morning, Father, we pray that we frustrate it in the name of jesus christ oh lord our father this morning some of us have our own business that we do lord our god we are asking you lord holy spirit that will be our senior partner in this business that you will guide us you will direct us in the name of jesus those that need to attend to clients as they come father that the rightful clients will come and patronage us in the name of jesus christ and those that give the customers father that will come to 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 patronage us so, Father, that they will be the rightful one in the name of Jesus. You know, Father, it doesn't matter where, it, where our business is. So from the south, from the north, from the west, when you are ready to bless us, direct them. Let them find us. No matter how obscure that place of business is, so Father, let them locate it in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your blessing be upon us, O God. Because in blessing, you will bless us. So, Father God, let your blessing be upon us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Once again, Father, we bring our children before you. Let your mercy speak for them. Let your mercy speak for them. Your mercy. 
your mercy, Lord, that endures forever. And it's because of this mercy that we're not consumed. So, Father God, we ask that anywhere and everywhere our children go, let your mercy compass them, your favor compass them with the multitude of your mercy and open doors, doors of turn around breakthrough for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Because unto you, O oh Lord, belong mercy and you are pleasures in mercy to all. The lives of our children are waiting for the manifestation of your great mercy, Lord. Appear, Lord, appear in their life. Appear in their life, O oh Lord God of mercy, this morning. Some of them are far away from us, O oh Father. Some of them, they are not telling us anything, but Father God, we know we can stand before you, Lord, this morning, and that you will show mercy for them in the name of Jesus Christ. And that wherever they are, let people show mercy to our children this morning, Lord, in a miraculous way. Let divine helpers rise up for their sake by your loving mercy, O oh Lord, our God. This morning, Father God, we plead the because of our men, children, oh Lord, we bring them. We bring our children to the altar of mercy. And before the mercy seat, our Father, arise. Show them your great mercy this morning. Mercy. Mercy, Lord. In the sight of those who will help them. Mercy, Father God. Let your mercy reveal to our children the beneficial potential of their lives. That will push them into the mountain top of prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, our Father, have mercy upon them and help them. Help our children, Lord, this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are asking you this morning by your mercy, O oh Lord. Let rivers of divine help flow into the lives of our children. And let, let it sink every hopeless and helpless situation in their life in the name of Jesus Christ. We don't know what they are facing. Lord, would there be any one of them that is giving up this morning? Oh, Father, that is any one of them that is saying, I'm helpless, I'm hopeless. But Father, we are crying to you this day, Father God of mercy. That's who, Lord, let rivers of divine help flow into their lives, into the lives of these our children and sink every hopeless and helpless situation in their lives in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, every problem that is mocking prayer and making God a liar in the lives of our children, in your mercy, Father, deliver them. Deliver them, deliver them. And even also, Lord, as mother, as father, Every problem that is mocking prayer and making God a liar in our life, in the life of our children. Oh, God of mercy, deliver us this morning. Deliver us, deliver us in the name of Jesus Christ. So, Father, God of mercy, let your mercy speak for our children and close every road of backwardness. Oh, Lord, let your mercy speak for our children and close every road of stagnation. Oh, mighty Father God, let your mercy speak for our children this morning and close every road of stagnation, every road of delay, and lose open heavens, new open doors, and new opportunities for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. Glory be to your name. Hallelujah. We bless your name, O oh Lord. Glory. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And as we go, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us this morning. Please endeavor to tell your friend about this prayer. God bless you. If you, God has been blessing you, bless others. And God will bless you as you do so.